Hey guys and welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up a dedicated server for DMP, the multiplayer mod for Kerbal Space Program. Now if you're anything like me, you've been playing around with DMP for a little while now and whilst hosting on your machine you've noticed that there is some limitations. Either your machine is not good enough to run both K KSP and DMP at the same time or perhaps your internet is not quick enough to shuttle the bits back and forth as is necessary. That is the scenario that happened to me and I would like to share with you how I worked around this particular issue. Now the first assumption that I'm going to make is that you have figured out how to get a server running somewhere that you can log into the root you have your own password but you don't really know what's going on from here i'm also going to assume that you have access to the dmp server files that you may have been playing with beforehand these ones here uh, if you don't know literally dmp downloads server drop the file drop the folder from the zip file there. Another assumption I'm going to make is that you have access to an FTP uh, application. That is a file transfer protocol application. That basically enables you to move files from your machine to an online server somewhere. If you don't know which one to use, I do recommend FileZilla. They're not paying me any money. If, guys, if you're out there and want to pay me some money, go ahead. But download this uh, all platform client and that will give you the same solution that I have. Okay, so you're going to come in and face this this route here, and you're going to be like, okay, what do I do? And maybe you would have tried lo logging in with FileZilla a few times. I'm not going to go through the steps because you will not be able to do so at the moment. There are a few things missing from this base server. Just to let you know, this is Ubuntu 14, but it should work on DBAN as well. Or uh, And there are a few other versions of Linux out there that will have very, very slight modifications on how this works. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is get FTP capability onto this server. Now, Linux comes with this amazing little program called Application Get. I, I, I assume that's what the apt means. Um, it kind of is this cloud surface service on the internet that allows you to install programs that you just know the name of you you put in a program designation in this case uh vs ftp i presume virtual service uh file transfer protocol document or something i'm not sure what the uh what the acronym is but you put this these very specific letters in here uh and it will then go ahead and install that on your machine for you now the first thing you want to do is to stop this because much like dmp it is not immediately set up for use so if we go service vs ftp d that is the service we just installed of course and then go stop because we need to stop that you will get a little confirmation uh, message here that you have stopped it so now that we've done that we need to edit the config files now on this particular version of linux i, I use nano uh, you may if this does not work want to just type the word edit in instead of nano that will possibly be the one that works for you uh, vs ftpd remember those letters you're going to use them a lot and dot conf that is the dot configuration file so whichever command you use when you type it out you will find this settings file here if you go down a little bit you will find write enable now you want to get rid of this little hashtag tag here that will enable this because it will stop it being commented now we uh control x to say yes we would like to save it oh, wonderful we want to write it to this file yes indeed okay so now that we've done that we literally want to start vsftpd back up again start with service the name of the service start Okay, the next thing we do need to do is to install Mono. DMP is really only designed to work under under Windows. Thankfully, the, all the wonderful community of the Linux users out there have decided that they're not going to stand for that. Oh no, and they have written a program called Mono-Complete. Uh, and you just want to install that. Now, this is going to take a long time. If you thought the VSFTP files took a while, yes, I would like to continue, th this is going to take... A small fraction of the age of the universe. So if we just sit around and wait a while, I will see you after this. 
So with all that taken care of, you'd think it'd be the time to crack out our FTP and start uploading files to the root user. Well, unfortunately not. Linux has got a little, as I at least understand it, security feature that stops you uh, uploading files to the root user so you need to add yourself a new user so we add user now whichever name you want to use here I'm gonna use twitchy I believe it has to all be lower caps uh, lowercase but you know experiment with that if it tells you you can't do it then you know you can't do it but something that you need to take note of is this home directory home slash twitchy or slash home slash twitchy is the the one we need to go with obviously the twitchy will be representative of whatever it is you Put in there then you've got a new password just put in whatever your standard password is for there little bit of security never goes amiss and then these next details are just you know for the phone book so I, I just go through and go yes to everything and everything is all good there right we're now finally gonna go to filezilla to do some FTP now the host if we come up here we should be able to find details for the host it's somewhere in your management tools here you'll either find it in like a, a tab called details or you'll have management well whatever happens you, you just need to find an ip address it, it doesn't really matter how you find it if we come into filezilla that goes into the host the username is the one you literally just created password same as what you literally just put in leave the port blank and hit quick connect Ta -da! you'll find yourself in the home slash twitchy Okay, so DMP server files, as we have discussed earlier, you literally just pick it up, drag it into there, and wait for everything to get transferred across. So to locate the files, we know where they are. They're cd slash home slash twitchy. We know them to be there. If you use the letters ls, that will list out everything that is in this folder. And you can see we've got another folder there, folder DMP capital S server capitals are very much important in this and in here you should also find dmp server.exe so you want to go mono because remember we have to use mono complete to install these things dmp server and it's very important that you put the .exe in when you click go on that there is the server running once again give everyone your ip address they will connect to this place same for yourself go and start up your copy of Kerbal Space Program, click on the ad, add these details, and away you go. Thank you very much for joining me for this tutorial, guys. If you feel this needs expanding in any places, or if I got anything wrong, please do drop a comment down below and let me know. I will see you next time. Bye!